Hello, this is the Programming Penguin. This video is going to be about programming a message box in assembly language using MASM, MASM32, and WinASM. So, first, download and install WinASM, and after you've done that, open it up. Now, go to File, New Project, and select the standard executable. Now, follow what I type in. Okay, so what I just did here is I'm right here. This tells the processor to use the Intel 803086 uh, instruction language, and model flat standard call is a way of passing parameters. That's not very important right now. And include Windows dot ink include Windows include kernel 32 dot ink include user 32.inc and these include libs are just like and include standard standard io.h file in a c in a c program now right here what i'm doing under the dot data is i'm defining strings and whenever i define a string in assembly i always have to end it with a null character and you can do that by doing comma space zero so right here of my dot code which is where I'm going to start programming and assembly has these kind of function like things like this for example I'm going to push this onto the stack no. push offset uh, yeah they caption first and push offset text and push null and then call message box so what this does is first it starts running at start and then it pushes MBOK okay onto the stack, which has a value of zero, I think. And then it pushes offset caption, which is this. Then it pushes offset text onto the stack. And then it pushes null, and then it calls the message box, which creates the um, message box based on these parameters. So next, I'm going to have to exit the process. Push null call exit process and start. So this is kind of like the main function in C, but yeah, so if I assemble it up here, save it to the desktop as message. Okay, I assume it assembled correctly, so I'm going to link it and execute it. And see, this window pops up. This is our message box title. This is our message box text. Well, that's how you program an assembly language. Uh, thank you for watching.